Hello, and welcome at ISOP Academy. In this video, we will go through Linux installation in few basic steps. If you'd like to set up ISOP server in some more advanced configuration, please follow a separate video with advanced installation of ISOP. First of all, there's a separate URL for all Linux builds of ISOP server. Really simple, linuxbuilds.isorp.com. Here you can find all supported distros, various ISOP server versions, including an archive. We will install ISOP server on CentOS 7 in 64-bit configuration, but ISOP supports many other distros, like Debian or Ubuntu. As the downloaded installation is a package, we have to unpack it first. Then we have to go to installation folder. Setup has to be executed as a root, so therefore I will log in as a root, or you can use other ways to correctly switch to root. OK, now I'm ready to run install script. First step is accepting the license agreement by enter. On some systems, SE Linux is enabled and configured by default in a way that can prevent ISO Observer from running correctly. In such cases, install will warn you that it is necessary to switch SE Linux to permissive mode. As a next step, install will check library dependencies. If some packages are missing, install will ask you whether you want to install them. As a result, you should see a list of packages to download. Proceed with yes. Well, now we are ready to install ISORP server successfully. Select where to install ISORP or use the default path with enter. Select which user will run ISORP services or leave root as a default. Well, everything seems OK, so we can proceed. Otherwise, use Ctrl C to quit. Now install will copy data and install whole ISORP server. We recommend to add ISORP server as a system service, which will run on a system startup. What follows is a wizard to configure hostname of your server. This hostname should be resolvable by DNS servers or some services won't work correctly. In most cases, primary domain of mail server would be the same as hostname. If not, please specify the primary domain. Good. Now let's create administrator account in ISOP server. It's good to use this default admin account. Now it's time for password. Please use a strong password, as admin can do anything with ISOP server configuration. Well, what about license? Do you already have a valid license, full or trial? Or do you want to ask for a trial license? If you don't have one, it's very simple to ask for a trial license for 30 days and then enter valid full license in an administrator or wizard. I've asked for a trial license so in this tab, please fill in user details of license owner or responsible person. Valid email address is required for ISO Observer to work. Check if all information are correct and proceed to the next step. To send a request for a trial license, confirm with yes. And that's it. Let's have a brief look onto the administration now. You can use several methods to administrate and configure ISOP server. There is a web admin application running already on a server. You can also use remote console to see even more detailed configuration options. Or for basic tasks, you can use wizard placed in ISOP server. We will check web admin for now. It should be accessible on localhost slash admin. Login with your administrator account created during installation process. Well, welcome at ISORP. Now it's time to set all things up. I suggest you to continue with one of our next videos describing how to configure ISO server services step by step. One of the most important places right here, services statuses. Here you can easily check which services are running, see basic statistics, and so on. On the top left corner, there's a menu with other options, like creating new domains, adding users, and much more. But it's another topic, which we will go through in next video. So that's all from me now. Thank you very much for your attention. 
and see you later. Bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to Icewarp. See you there. Bye.